It all started when a time travel experiment I was conducting went a little caca. In the blink of a cosmic clock, I went from quantum physicist to Air Force test pilot, which could have been fun if I knew how to fly. Fortunately, I had help. An observer from the project named Al. Unfortunately, Al's a hologram, so all he can lend is moral support. Anyway, here I am, bouncing around in time, putting things right that once went wrong. A sort of time-traveling Lone Ranger with Al as my tanto. And I don't even need a mask. Oh, boy. You know, the sleeping about in time has its advantages, like being able to reunite the love of my life with her father. And even though I wasn't supposed to affect anyone in my personal future, I figured the big guy upstairs would understand. Then again, maybe he didn't. Get up! Go, go, go. One, Get up! Go, two, get up! Get up! Get up. Seven, eight, nine. You okay, kid? Come on. Theorizing that one could time travel within his own lifetime, Dr. Sam Beckett led an elite group of scientists into the desert to develop a top secret project known as Quantum Leap. Pressured to prove his theories or lose funding, Dr. Beckett prematurely stepped into the Project Accelerator and vanished. He awoke to find himself in the past, suffering from partial amnesia and facing a mirror image that was not his own. Fortunately, contact with his own time was maintained through brainwave transmissions with Al, the Project Observer, who appeared in the form of a hologram that only Dr. Beckett can see and hear. Trapped in the past, Dr. Beckett finds himself leaping from life to life, putting things right that once went wrong and hoping each time that his next leap will be the leap home.
You okay, kid? Come on. You forgot your lunch. Thanks. Outside. What? That's where I'm supposed to meet Frank. Right, outside. You forgot your lunch. Thanks. Outside. What? That's where I'm supposed to meet Frank. Right, outside. I got her to come down and take another look. Come on, Munchkin. Come on. See? It's Mommy. That's not my Mommy. That's a man. So it's the guy in the yucky shirt. This is my favorite shirt. This is cutting and stuff. It's yucky. I got her to come down and take another look. Come on, Munchkin. Come on. See? It's mommy. That's not my mommy, that's a man. So it's the guy in the yucky shirt. This is my favorite shirt. This is cutting and stuff. It's yucky. This is too weird. I want my mommy. Mommy. Definitely too much Sesame Street. Sam, she, she could see me. I know that. Finally, somebody agrees with me. First guess is, I'm not here for a date. Thank God, I thought you'd never... has decided you've got one more thing to do before you go. Surprise! Why are you doing this? Because she's evil. You have the power, Aaliyah. You can choose not to kill me. Now, 
Are, are, are you talking to a hologram? Why haven't I looped? Why am I still here? Lothos has decided you've got one more thing to do before you go. Surprise! Why are you doing this? Because she's evil. You have the power, Aaliyah. You can choose not to kill me. Theorizing that one could time travel within his own lifetime, Dr. Sam Beckett stepped into the Quantum Leap Accelerator and vanished. He awoke to find himself trapped in the past, facing mirror images that were not his own, and driven by an unknown force to change history for the better. His only guide on this journey is Al, an observer from his own time, who appears in the form of a hologram that only Sam can see and hear. And so Dr. Beckett finds himself leaping from life to life, striving to put right what once went wrong, and hoping each time that his next leap will be the leap home.